You guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come on here and talk about this crazy ass story that's once again coming from my first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going down in Florida now? What's going on is that basically we have a man who was just arrested because he got into his Dodge Challenger and he decided to plow through a building in hopes of time traveling. This entire situation is crazy as hell and it could only take place in our first favorite state, Ratchet Florida. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Bomb suit, take a look at this photo. This is just a look at the damage that was done after our car came plowing through a Pensacola business, smashing through two offices. Now those business tell me they must deal with moving on on top of rebuilding. It looked like a bomb went off in there. That's how Emmanuel Moores described the way advanced tax services looked one day after our car drove through his office, coming out the other side. Channel 3 was able to get a quick look at the damage before contractors boarded up the business. We're told the car not only went in one side and came out the other, it took out a wall between the tax office and the neighboring casket business. Fortunately, both offices were empty Sunday morning when the car came plowing through, the driver telling police he was trying to time travel. Morris tell us his office will move directly next door and the casket office will move two doors down, but only after the fabric shop that is there moves first. Moores and other business owners hope Pensacola police will hold the driver responsible for the damages. However, when Channel 3 asked police, they told us a citation for reckless driving was issued. The driver is currently in the hospital being evaluated. All right, so you guys just saw that damn news clip. This bootleg ass time traveler needs to have several damn seats. I'm willing to bet that this man put the wrong cable in the flux capacitor. If y'all remember that movie Back to the Future, that's what made time traveling possible. You know, so this entire situation is insane. And I also think what's crazy is that the building that he plowed into was also next to a casket shop and also next to a tax building. So it's almost like he was trying to go back in time to avoid death and to avoid the IRS. You you know, this whole situation just makes no sense whatsoever. I am convinced that there's something going on in Florida that makes people just go crazy. I don't know if it's the damn water. I don't know if it's the air. But for somebody to get into a vehicle and do 88 miles per hour in hopes of going back in time, it just makes no sense whatsoever. This idiot is lucky that he was not killed instantly. This whole situation is just really damn ridiculous. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation that's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.